This is my good old Gothenburg editor for WordPress. It has some basic blocks, for example, heading. If you add something here, then change the size or the different devices. There are some basic patterns you can use, but nothing fancy. It gets the job done, but it's not the best experience in the world. But this here is my new block builder, which is much easier to use. I can use the sidebar on the left to add containers. Inside the containers, I can drag my heading. For the headings, I can customize every aspect and I can change the settings based on different device sizes. It has an awesome library with patterns, pages, page kits, for example. I can just open it up and insert the old template. I can add them to the favorites. And there are other goodies that I would like to show you. Now, the plugin I'm talking about is called Spectra. It has been my favorite WordPress blocks builder for the last year. It's a well-known plugin. As you see, currently it has more than 1 million active installations. And in this video, I'm going to make a brief overview. What is it and how to use it? In the video, I'm going to use a free version, but there is also a pro version. If you would like to see what will it do, then I'm going to put the link in the video description so you can take a closer look at it. But now let's dive in and let's see how to use the Spectra plugin. And let's start by installing a plugin, Spectra WordPress. Let's install it and activate it. You will be redirected to the welcome screen. Let's skip it and let's go to the blocks. Here you can see all the blocks Spectra offers. If there is a pro tag, this means it's only for the premium version. If you would like to know what is the difference between free and pro version, then open up this tab here and you'll see the comparison. But back to the blocks. Here you can activate or deactivate the blocks you need or don't need. For example, if you don't need the form block, then you can deactivate it. You can activate or deactivate all if needed and all the changes will be saved immediately. Next under the settings, you can set the default content width and whether to inherit the button styles from the team. I'm going to do that. You can set the default container paddings and element caps. You can choose whether to activate custom CSS. If you don't know what is CSS or how to use it, then you can disable it. Copy and paste styles are very useful. For example, I have an info box here. If I add another one on the site, then I can click on the previous one, copy all the styles from this one and paste it to other box. Really nifty tool. Next option is for automatic block recovery, that is, if something happens to the blocks, you won't see the error message and it will recover the blocks. It sometimes happens when using the Gothenburg blocks. Next one, you can choose whether to load the font awesome support. Under the asset generation, you can deactivate the, I wouldn't suggest you to do that because it will speed up your site. If you need to re regenerate assets, you can do it here. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, that is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2 and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Speaking of fast, Kinsta is using the latest tech what separates them from others is that they are the only managed WordPress hosting that offers Google's top CPU servers at no extra cost. If you don't know, these are some of the fastest servers around, so your website will load in a blink of an eye. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Here's another fun fact about Kinsta, that is Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites and those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. There is a editor enhancement, that is whether to enable the quick action bar or not. By default, it's activated and what is a quick action bar is this action bar on the left here. Now briefly, how does it work? There is a plus button here. You can add blocks to the quick action bar. Just search for the block and it works with every block you have installed. 
if you would like to add third party block from table builder then just click on the block and it will be here if you would like to remove it then hover on it and delete it in a similar way you can delete everything here or add whatever you would like to add here for example icon list and done what I tend to do is that usually I'm gonna add my most used blocks here and now I can either drag and drop it in a place I like or just click on it and it will be added after the last selected block it greatly speeds up my workflow and it's an awesome tool so you can choose whether to activate it or not next one is collapse panels what will it do for you if you open up your site then you'll see there's a block for example in infobox there are panels here if you open one up then other one will close for me it's a nice feature because this way I have only one panel of settings in front of me and I can focus on it. Next one is enable templates button and the templates button is this one up here. If you open it up it displays your patterns. Patterns are here on the left. You can import pages, home, about us, services and contact us page. Next one is kits. There are a bunch of page kits for you to use. For example, if you open one up, you'll see that this kit has a home page, about page, services page, project page, and contact page. All are using the similar style. If you would like to live preview it, then take a look at here. And if you would like to import it, then just select the page you would like to import. Click on insert template button and done. If you would like to add it to the favorites, then add it here. Or go to the kits and add it here. And under the favorites you'll see all the favorite kits you have. If there is a tag premium then it means you need a pro version for it. Next setting is version control. You can roll back your site to the previous Spectre version. You can use it if something happens. Also if you go to the plugins under the Spectra there is a rollback. If you click here you will be redirected to the same settings page. You can enable beta version and you can enable legacy blocks. Under the performance you can load Google Fonts locally. It will speed up your site. Also you can preload local fonts. If you would like to allow only selected fonts to be loaded on your site then activate this option and select the fonts. At the moment I'm going to deactivate it. Under the integrations you'll see that you can connect your site with Google reCAPTCHA. It's useful if you're using Spectra form block. Under the site visibility, you can enable coming soon mode. Just choose a page you would like to display the message. For example, let's create a new page. Give it the title, coming soon. Let's add something here. Let's choose something from the templates. For example, this one here. Let's insert it. Let's change the title. Publish. Let's refresh the settings page. Choose this one here. It will be saved automatically. Now I'm going to open up my site in a private view and you'll see this is my coming soon page here. I'm going to deactivate and in a similar way I can activate maintenance mode. Once again let's open up our site in private view and it's here. So it means that you don't need a separate plugin for the maintenance mode or coming soon mode. If you're using full site editor team then you can activate the font families here. Under the AI features you can connect your site with a zip WP service. They will give you 1000 credit per month for free. You can use it to customize text or create personalized templates with a couple of clicks. I have enabled it on this site. Although I have to say that I haven't used this feature at all. Maybe you find it useful so you can test it out. Before I proceed with the video. Don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. But now since I want to keep this tutorial short I'm gonna go to the pages. Let's add a new page for example new page. And those are the blocks that are added to the admin bar by default. I don't use a call to action so I'm gonna delete it. I'm using info box buttons. I don't use icons. Images are not the most important ones for me. Heading I'm using all the time and container, but I use icon list all the time, so I'm gonna add it here. Now let's add a container so you can see what happens here. 
you can choose between the layouts. Let's choose this one here. If you click on an element and open up the block settings, you'll see everything on the right here. You can customize basically everything here. There is also a Spectra page settings button here. If you click on it, you can add custom CSS that will be applied only to this page. I'm not going to go over all the settings here. In this video, I would like just to give a brief overview of the plugin. I'm not going to go over all the settings here, but you'll see that you can add full width boxed or custom width containers, content width, whether it's boxed or full width, box width in pixels or percents here. If you would like to add equal height columns, activate this one here. Under the style, you can add the background, whether it's color, gradient, image or video. You can set the color, link colors, borders, box shadows, shape dividers and spacing. And under the advanced, you can set whether the container is sticky, add animations, fade, flip, slide, zoom in, zoom out, all this in free version. Under the display conditions, you can set whether to display this container based on user state, user role, browser operating system or day. Under the responsive control, you can hide it for the desktops, tablets or mobiles. You can set Z index and under the advanced, you can add HTML anchors and additional CSS classes. Now let's add a heading here, change it. And if you take a look on the right, you'll see that there are similar settings here. Now, a couple of other things. If you click on this ask AI button, you can ask to fix grammar, rephrase, make shorter, make longer, or add something else. AI assistant opens up and now you can choose whatever it is. For example, rephrase, give it a context, use this, it will be added here, change it a bit as you like, and done. You can choose heading tag, h2, h1, and so on, or it paragraph, heading wrapper, whether it's div or header. You can enable subheading, this one here, add a separator, for example, solid separator here, before heading, below subheading, above heading, there are some styling options for every element and the same advanced options. Now, currently there are 39 free blocks you can use with a Spectra. Go to the Spectra site. There are previews for the starter templates and for every block here. Now I'm going to delete this one here and I'm going to show how do I use this builder. Now, usually I start with a design library. I choose between pages or kits. I choose what type of a page it is, for example, home. I'm going to insert a template. Next, I'm going to delete the parts I don't need. For example, this one here, just delete it. Next, I'm going to replace the images and text. For example, let's change this image here. Instead, I'm going to add this one here. Change the title color, prefix color, description color. Change the text if needed, and in a similar way, go through all the page and done. If I need to add something, then just drag and drop it here. Rearrange using this option or dragging them here. If I need to customize it for the different screens, then I'm going to just select the screen size, open it up. I can change the size, for example, for the tablet seats. 56 pixels and for the mobiles it's 28 as simple as that nothing complicated here so yeah spectra has been my go-to block builder for the last year and i'm really satisfied with it so if you haven't used it before then maybe you should give it a try now before you go spectra is only one of the awesome free plugins i use but i have made a separate video about top five free woocommerce plugins that nobody uses this video is on the screen right now so be sure to take a look at it next in the meantime take care